A whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsy Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go! <laughs> the weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not... Uh, meow. They're best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! Whoa. There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's Sunsy Day. Wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It Catch really it. worked. He wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Don't grab it! It's getting away! Wow! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. 
Oh my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman. Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. That was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen, are you okay? I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland, not Wondermont. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. <laughs> Girls, the library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be still. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. <laughs> Working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. <laughs> I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you. Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash. <laughs> hey, wait up. Come with me to the school, otherwise you'll freeze! <gasps> Look! So cool! Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful! Look inside! There are tiny snowflakes! Uh, I figured out what we must not do! Uh-oh! You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon! Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather! We have to go find him quick, and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vosco? Look at this. The girls wanted to summon Winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls before their hearts freeze over. Vasco! Vasco! I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! I'm coming to get you! Girls, 
look over here. Grandma taught me how to handle hot frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the showstopper! Ta-da! Come on, girls! Could you please laugh? I know who you are! You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north! And you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Wasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast. And he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. <gasps> I can't stop shivering. It's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boy. Vosco! Vosco! Raven! That's you! Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys! We're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasca, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying, friends keep you warm in the cold. <laughs> so, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland Day? Yay! Presents! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> We might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> If only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne-i-e or ne i -e? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um... Keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known you. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known you. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes. Are you the smile of the closet? No. I'm the records room sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? 
Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? A report on grades. A report on the dishes. A report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Aha! If the Begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. Mm, I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, we can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please help us! wanted our kite back, so we used to spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Daria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong reverse. Thunderstorm disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Unpredictable berries. These carrots are gigantic! 33 times bigger than normal! With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year! I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year, and there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Daria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable, and they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shrivel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. There, gotcha! Heroic leap out of... To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so 
so quickly. Oh. oh, well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's put up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps. Stewed nettle salad. The best woodland recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable berry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, <laughs> Helen. Uh. Big whoop. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it. And then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictable berries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that walk! Look out! Thistle! Yay! I declare us professors of botany! Shoot! That was the last berry! There goes our chance of winning! And the sun's going down too! It's nearly dark, which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow! Even the sourest berries can make... I know what to do! We're gonna win this competition! Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Little salad for you, is baked as a joy. Ahem, the jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to... The Unpredictaberry <gasps> Jam from Wonderland School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it! Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> the Perfect Party Everyone, quick! We don't have much time! Daria, what's the matter? An attack on the school? <gasps> A pop quiz? No, Rooney. It's nothing like that. We forgot Teacher's Day. We have to organize a party for the teachers. A party? I love parties! Oh! Oh! Not just any party. The best ever. It has to be the perfect party for the perfect teachers. But they'll be back really soon from the Magical Council. We'll never get it ready in time. We will, as long as we all work together on it. The Immortal's favorite color is red, blue for the Professor, and yellow for Marlene. Hmm. The only garland we have is green. Hmm. 
In that case, you need a spell to change the color. Here you go. Say it three times and the garland will start turning all the colors of the rainbow. Magical! <laughs> oh, Jess, that's excellent. The professor and the immortal play every evening, right? Right, those two like chess a lot. Yes, although this evening can't be like the others. It needs to be special. How about three-board defector chess, invented by the wise men of the Kingdom of the Seven Peaks, you know? Of course, that's exactly what we need. Right, we'll need two more chess boards then. Got it. Whatever you're making smells good. They're coconut cookies, see? Perfect. Those are the immortal's favorite kind. Mm hmm And he eats them all the time. So often that he always keeps them in his desk. <laughs> they won't be much of a surprise. What about a coconut cake instead of cookies? He doesn't have one of those in his desk. <laughs> Great idea. How about a cake in the shape of a skull? It'll be tricky keeping the towers up. Unpredictable syrup. The stickiest stuff in the world. It'll keep any tower standing. Yes, good idea. Hmm. I just can't decide which hats would look better for Teacher's Day. Let me think. What about... Academic caps! Of course! That's perfect for Teacher's Day. Huh. I hope that the teachers will like them as well. Violins, harp, double bass. All the Immortals' favorites. Although... Marlene prefers the trumpet and the flute. Then let's have a whole orchestra. Starting with the flute. Hey, what's this thing? A joy tuning fork? Tap the fork and everyone will be in a delightful mood all day. With this joy tuning fork, the party will be perfect, even if something goes wrong today. Wait! What about our rehearsal? <gasps> no, my coconut castle! Uh, is that an earthquake? It's the joy tuning fork! There's something wrong with it! Hey, stop those defectors! They won't get away! We have to stop that tuning fork! Easy now! Stop immediately! <sighs> That's it. The party is ruined. It's my fault. Daria, if it weren't for you, no one would have remembered Teacher's Day. And we still have time to put everything back the way it was. Do we really? Of course. Okay, then. Let's get it done. Wow. Is this what I think it is? How beautiful. It looks like the students here have organized a party for us in order to celebrate Teacher's Day. Happy Teacher's Day! Happy Teacher's Day! <laughs> the joy tuning fork. I've wanted to fix that for years, but I lost it. How did it come to be at our wonderful party? I wanted everyone to have fun, but it turns out the joy tuning fork is broken. The chess pieces ran away, the caps flew off. All we have is checkers. Daria. It's the thought that counts, don't you see? We don't mind if we have caps or a certain game. You did this for us, and it's wonderful as is. Remember in go winter snow, remember when spring flowers grow, when the summer and fall come around. Don't forget the friends you found. Remember in go winter snow, remember when spring flowers grow, when the summer and fall come around. Don't forget the friends you found I know the world around me just fades away As every dream leads me to a brand new day I hear a gentle voice call to me Now that I've made my choice, I will fly This is my time, I'm not gonna hesitate Adventure pulling me, oh sweet day Vision.
Question 3. world's coolest game, Vision 3. My brothers have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent who? Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus level! <sighs> That's okay, I've got my own fruit here on the bonus level. <laughs> Agility bonus! Mm. All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no <laughs> match for this great wizard. Huh. <sighs> ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's beautiful protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. You're a great wizard. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, you okay. know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The Watchtower Ravens, I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. Now down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> oh, what's our raven? It's guarding the game. <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player two has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level one. OK, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. Not my kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels so real. Huh? Really? <laughs> this level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Oh, uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> oh, stupid web. How do I break it? Hmm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm going to end this level. <laughs> Rooney, we did it! <laughs> the Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Over.
Now that's what I'd call an adventure. Better than any game. I remember playing Vision 1 back in the day. The ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. Vision 1. You too can be a great wizard. <sighs> a big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our herological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hmm. Clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small. Someone like... Ah, oh, a raven! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> Put that bracelet back immediately! Dorma, quick! The shrinking cookie! Hey, stop! That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! This is a sticky situation! Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine! Okay, Thief, this is your final warning. You know you can't hide from me in the library. I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! Oh. Ah, ah. They've got a whole forest gang! But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet! Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy! Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy! We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. 
Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <gasps> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Oh. Oh. Mm. The Memento Box. Ladies, ta-da! Take a look at this. What is it? Is it some kind of loom? It's a time machine! <laughs> Not a bad guess, but no, let me show you. Thanks, Professor. Take a look at what I have here. This is my very own memento music box. Oh, so beautiful! We made these when I was in school. It's a memento that reminds me of my dear friends. I'd love to make a box like that. It's the perfect school souvenir. Exactly. That is why we are working with this device. So you girls can make a memento box of your own. Yes, look. You arrange yourselves up here on the circle. Like so, dressed elegantly. And it would be nice if you all planned on doing something original. What do you girls think we should do to make this memorable? What if we jump in the air? We can line up by height. We can do that and jump. Maybe the main thing is to show our best amazing selves. Hmm. Our best amazing selves. Where is it? Oh, found it. I'll need an uncommon dandelion like this one, a milk flower, and some rainbow berries. The brighter your hair, the brighter the memory will be. Common dandelion, uncommon dandelion, milk flower. There we are. I think that should be about enough. And rainbow berries. Mm -hmm. Now let's turn my hair into rainbow stripes. Tomorrow, I'll wake up with rainbow hair. <gasps> what happened? Why did my hair turn green? What am I going to do? I'll ruin the memento. No more than one berry, and I threw two in there. The fruit of the hermit tree can help to reverse any side effects. Okay, don't touch anything. I see. The hermit tree will help fix this. I need to go there. Lisa, time to get up. Lisa? Oh, no! <gasps> Girls, look! I think Lisa's gone somewhere. It's a map! It looks like an enchanted thicket. Whatever she's up to, it looks like Lisa's in danger. I mustn't touch anything with my hands or my feet. I'm looking for a comb. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Thank you. Excuse me. I'll be very careful. Thank you. Here it is. Yes, I know. I'm not allowed to touch anything in the Enchanted Gardens. I only need just one of your lovely cones. Oh, dear. Can't you please make an exception for me? Now what do I do? My hair will be green forever. It's all my fault. The memento will be ruined. Girls, does anyone want some raspberries? Look how beautiful they are. Dorma, you can't touch anything here. Didn't you see the warning? Help! <gasps> All this for just one berry! <gasps> Dorma! <gasps> when you are told not to touch anything, don't touch anything! Run! <gasps> Lisa, you're not going back. By the way, why is your hair green? That's the point. I wanted rainbow-colored hair for the memento. It's supposed to be an amazing memory to be cherished. But my hair turned out not amazing. That's why I came to the forest to try and fix it. And we got scared and came to save you. Yes, and in the end, you saved us. Funny, isn't it? Yes, but I never got a chance to get a comb. Don't be upset, Lisa. We still have our friendship, after all. Who wants a box, anyway? Greeting cards are way better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, girls. I appreciate it. Don't worry. We'll figure out something for your hair, too. That's enough, Doria. Dorma, stay out of this. Doria knows what she's doing. Drink this. That should do the trick. But it might take some time to work. What if it just makes it worse? I could have green hair forever. Well, then, I'll be green, too. Yes! Sometimes I even dream that I have green hair. So I'll all be green. It'll be fun playing hide-and-seek in the bushes. <coughs> Very well, then. Now let's go. Here come our princesses now. I'm sure that you've come up with something interesting. Apparently. At least Lisa certainly has. Well, are you ready? We did it! Mr. Immortal. How clever. What a bright idea. Whenever did you manage to make your hair so colorful? The Good Luck Guardian. Dorma, what's the matter? They say that if a ghost passes through your body, it will take all your good luck with it. That's only if you believe in luck, which I personally don't. You don't believe in it? You believe in bad luck, don't you? No, I don't believe in bad luck either, because if you study hard, you don't need good luck to get an A. In El Dorado, there's a saying that if you bounce a ball 505 times, you'll have good luck all day. And I believe it. 105, 106. <laughs> Dorma and I won't need good luck to beat you at soccer. <laughs> no way. Mm -hmm. In the yard, for all to see. Oh, Vosco, you're going to knock a vase over on me. Be careful. Oh. No, 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 no. And are those paintings hung properly? They look like they could fall any minute. <gasps> Hmm, I thought I ordered a professor's hat. Oh, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> 132, 133. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, man, now I have to start over. I saw a horned monster down there. My day's barely started, and my luck's already terrible. It's just the professor. <laughs> so, if even the professor is out to scare me, how will I last till nightfall? Dorma, you're going to be jumping at every single shadow. I think this spell could help you. When you recite the spell and connect the two halves of the talisman, a guardian spirit will appear. It'll drive away bad luck 24 hours a day without a break. All right, I'll give this a try. May this spell protect me, guard me, and defend me. <laughs> Voila! 
You'll be completely safe with this guardian. An ironclad guarantee. Thank you, Daria. <laughs> Five hundred and four, five hundred and five. Now I'll have a lucky day, <laughs> and victory will be ours. We'll see about that, won't we? Then want to see something cool? I'll score a goal without looking. A little thing I like to call super luck. Ugh, Dorma, that really hurt. It wasn't me, Vosco. Come on, really? Three against two, and that uniform is cheating. We can't play a match against him. Imagine if that hunk of iron steps on your foot. It won't be pretty. Wait there and just stay still. Okay, Vasco, try that again. <clears throat> kind of feels like he doesn't want to listen. He's coming to take a shot at our goal. I think he's after you personally. Stop still. <laughs> he probably thought Vasco wanted to hit me with the ball. Maybe you should let him go now. Just split the talisman. Do I have to split the talisman? That sounds like a terrible idea. I'll never have any good luck ever again. Well, the ball is clearly on your side now, so I am not going to play with it. <laughs> Make it stop! Guardian, no! Stay! That Guardian, that's enough! <laughs> to the school. He won't get us there. Tired out. Deflated, even. Uh, I liked him a bit more as the ball. Vasco, run! I'll hold him off for you! is bad luck, even in Eldorado. You've got enough bad luck as it is! I'll split it myself! <clears throat> Why are you doing acrobatics with the bear? Hang on, Vosco. I'll save you! Oh, I'm going to fall down! Vosco, go ahead and split the talisman, please! <sighs> <laughs> Great. Let the bad luck begin. Nothing's beginning. All these superstitions about luck, they're not real. You bounced that ball 500 times and weren't lucky at all. Yeah, I wouldn't say today was a lucky one. <laughs> and Dorma had a rough time with the Guardian. And it was all because I summoned him thinking he'd solve my problems for me. But now I'll handle those troubles on my own. All with the help of my awesome friends. I'm glad to hear that. As wizards, we believe in many magical things and powers, like ghosts, spells, even Baba Yaga. But luck shouldn't worry you. Hey there, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of them all. <laughs> You know there's good news when the class president is smiling. Well, how was your first meeting with the teachers? The Immortal and Grunwald decided to visit each other with their students so we can all study together once in a while. And... Uh, we go to them first! Oh, oh, we we do it. We've never visited another magic school before. Do you think we'll get along? Yes, will they like us? What if we get there and something goes wrong? Oh. Calm down! Everyone will have a great time. I just know it. We'll just have to make sure we're wearing the right color. For example, red. Red is the best color for getting noticed. We'll stand out so much they can't possibly forget us. What if we go wearing all black? 
That way, everyone will know we take our studies seriously. No, we should obviously wear red! Hmm. Nocturna the Wise wears black, and she's the most respected wizard there is. But Rosa the Adept wears red, and everyone knows she's the greatest of all time. Let's not argue. Let's see what the magic mirror thinks we should do. The magic mirror? The one that Leshy made? Yep. Come. <laughs> these magic mirrors can do loads of things. Look, it says in these instructions that magic mirrors can produce magical sunshine bunnies as well. <gasps> Had an idea. Got it! Stop still! Oops. Is it cracked? Mm, it looks all right. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Rosa or Nocturna? Hmm. Rosa and Nocturna are important for sure. But the most important and greatest of all is Yaga. Oh no, do you realize what this means? That we should wear green when we go? Like Yaga? It means the mirror is broken, and I bet the teachers are not going to be happy about that. We'll need a special spell to repair it. A mirror spell should do the trick, and for that we'll need a singing frog's reflection. <laughs> the blue raven's reflection. <laughs> And some chicken moss. <laughs> What's so funny? I said I'd clean up and I will. Sometime this week or next week. Huh? Those kids. Now we've got the potion, the mirror will definitely work. Oh, Mira, so radiant. Tell me truly, please. Huh? Who is really the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Thank you for the potion. Much better. Now I can see clearly. I know the answer, and the greatest witch of all is her for sure. Rosa? Nocturna? Nonsense. It's Baba Yaga. Impossible! Eh, that's not news. I already knew that. Thanks to the mirror, now everyone else will too. Where's my mirror? <laughs> Stop! Give us back that mirror! <laughs> Sunshine Bunny! Sunlight Fold, hop where you're told! Hop to Baba Yaga's broom! Huh? <laughs> well, fancy that! Even the bunnies love me now! <laughs> uh, oh! Uh, wait! Stop still! Uh, stop still! I caught it! Hooray! The world has to know the truth. Where'd you go? Aha, there you are. Hmm. What's going on? Oh, well, so much for my mirror. <sighs> I think she's gone. Mm -hmm. I have no idea why the mirror still isn't working. Oh, it's a monster! Help! It's okay. It's me. The protector of the forest, Leshy. We met before, you know. What's brought you all the way out to the middle of my woods? We were just trying to fix the magic mirror. You broke it? It doesn't look broken, but we can make another one, just in case, as a spare. <clears throat> Here you go. Give it a try. Who's the greatest, most interesting, most important witch? Yoga! To tell the truth, I think Baba Yaga is the greatest. She helps moss and berries oh. grow. She even cares for weeds and toadstools. Also, her swamp soups are delicious. Oh, <laughs> I was just passing through. Come by for soup. I also make moss stew with boiled roots. We'll stop by later. For magic mirrors, the person who matters most to the maker is the greatest. Want to try making one? I can show you how. Yes, yes we please. do. Yeah. Mirror, tell me truly, who is the greatest witch of all? Marlene. Yeah, Marlene always has good advice, and she's always been around to help. I think I see now. The clothes we wear don't matter. It's what we do while we wear them. The color of our clothes doesn't make us great. It's all in the actions we take. And
And we know they love botany at Grunwald School, so we'll take them our magical plants. That's a wonderful idea. I'm sure Grunwald will be delighted at your thoughtfulness.